This video was brought to you by the Jack L. Hill Lifelong Learning Center, located in the Norman F. Feldheim Central Branch of the San Bernardino Public Library. Please subscribe, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Okay, so I'm Ms. Gale, San Bernardino Public Library, Jack L. Hill Lifelong Learning Center. We're upstairs. Here we're downstairs in our children's department. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you to our Zoom folks that are here streaming with us. Today's a first virtual event. We got a grant that we're able to do this. And we were so lucky to have our local cartoonist and famous guy, Mr. Phil Ye here, coming to say, yeah, I'm going to how to learn. <laughs> Now to learn how to create your own characters. So not only is he going to show you how to make your own cartoon, but he's going to show you how to create that character and your brain. So without further ado, it's Bill Ye. Okay, I've brought a list of things. People I know, I'll, you guys can uh, write this down later if you like. These are some friends of mine, all created opportunities, okay? The first guy is Scott McCloud. Scott McCloud wrote a book called Understanding Comics. Anybody here see the book? Nobody. So you can get the book on the shelf in the graphic novel section. Javier Hernandez created a character called El Morto. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Have you ever heard of Jack Kirby, Marvel? The Black Panther? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, yes. finally. I met Jack Kirby when I was 15 years old. I went to the first San Diego Comic Convention. Have you heard of the San Diego Comic Convention? Yes. 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 So we're betting two, two for 100. Anyway, I went to the first convention. I was 15. I was going to turn 16 that October, but it was August. And I met Jack Kirby and Ray Bradbury. They were the guests. Ray Bradbury was a really famous author. Has any of you heard of Ray Bradbury? Yes. Okay, this is what's great about this workshop. It's in the library. So all you guys can go check out his books. He has a lot of short stories, so they're really not long. You'll like them. Ray Bradbury was my favorite writer. I walked up to Ray. There were 300 fans at the first San Diego convention. I walked up to the table and I said to Ray, I want to be a writer. I'm 15 years old. What do I have to do? And Ray, I said, I can't spell. I didn't know at the time because we didn't have dyslexia in 1970. I said, I can't spell. And Ray says, don't worry about it. They have editors just write. So Ray Bradbury gave me permission to just write. You understand? Just write down my ideas, my stories. That's very critical. If you want to be an artist and a writer, you have to have ideas, right? So if you want to be a writer, you have to think, what am I going to write about? I grew up in Los Angeles, OK? So I wrote about my friends. My cartoons were about my friends. I'm still writing about my friends. I just changed the name because some of those guys are big. Okay? I wrote about my friends. In 1970, my friends, I came from Los Angeles, were of all ethnicity. Some of my friends were Mexican, 
Some of my friends were black. Everybody was different. Some of my friends were Chinese. So I thought I would write cartoon characters about my friends. So I made cartoons about my friends, okay? Now it's not a big deal. There are, there are stories about everybody. But in 1970, it wasn't that way. It was mostly about white kids, okay? So I thought, well, what a great thing to do, write about people you know. My friend Carlos Saldana, he created a character, he's from East LA, and he created a character called Burrito. And you can look it up on the internet. Stan Sakai created Japanese samurai characters. He's Japanese. He created characters, uh, a rabbit who's fighting with swords, okay? Usagi Ojimbo. Trina Robbins, another friend of mine, she not only created a lot of characters, but she also wrote about women cartoonists, girl cartoonists, because women were not often talked about. Okay? I'll keep this list available if anyone wants to use it. Sir General Agonis, Mad Magazine. Nobody even knows Mad Magazine. You? Sergio created Brew. It's a little barbarian character. My friend Kevin Eastman, you might know, he is co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Somebody heard of the turtles? Nobody. Somebody's seen the cartoons. God. This is hopeless. <laughs> and the other guy sitting next to Ray Bradbury that day, 1970, was called Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby drew the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, the Hulk, everything for Marvel. But he created, I love saying this, he created in 1966 a comic book called The Black Panther, which is now uh, everyone knows because of the film, right? He created this character in 1966. So these are a few of my friends. I will mention Charles Schultz. He created uh, Snoopy, Peanuts. Somebody heard of Peanuts. My friend, Maury Turner. Maury Turner was African American and he thought Peanuts is okay, but it's mostly white kids. And so he created We Pal, which was a comic strip that ran in the 60s about a few newspapers. Peanuts was in all the newspapers. We Pals was only a few. But We Pals was great because it showed, you know. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. So that's what I like to do. So. I, I'm saying this to you because I've written a hundred books, okay? These are some of my books. This one I did with John Murakami in Hawaii. And this was a, a story to get me to go back to Hawaii lots of times. This is a book I did in New York with my unicorn, Frank the Unicorn. This is a book where Frank the Unicorn goes up and down the coast of California. This is a book about penguins. And this book explains the literacy program. And I know you kids are really interested in that. <laughs> and this is a book, Frank the Unicorn went to England. I've written a hundred books and I'm not going to bore you with all the books right now. I'm going to teach you to create your own characters. You want to be original. The most important thing is you can copy cartoons that you see and you like to get practice. But it's better if you don't copy. It's better if you just make it up.
We're going to show you how you can make up the character. Since I have a piece of paper here, I've only drawn one thing on it. And this is a pen with a dip point. You get, anybody here use these pens? Yes. Yeah. All right. One. Once. And then that's it. Oh. Well, if you want to get a dip pen, they're really fun. So, we'll just, we're going to create two characters, okay? You guys are going to create these two characters. Then we're going to write a comic strip, and I'm going to have a assistant, my assistant, somebody, well, help me letter. It's, my lettering isn't so good now, okay? So we're going to create, we'll create the boy first. Okay. So, you think about all the characters. My friends created all these crazy characters. Let's think of an animal, a head of an animal. Just think of any, uh, raise your hand, yes. A fox. A fox. So this is for the boy, right? So we're going to have a fox head. If you guys want to draw this, you can draw. You can draw a lot. Yes. We're going to do body. A deer. A what? A deer. A deer. Yeah. Let's put deer in antlers on him. Can you guys see? Okay, so it's a fox with deer antlers. Got it? Yes. Give me a body. Give me another animal. Yes. An elephant fish. See, perfect. An elephant body. Now give him legs. Yes, in the back. Penguin legs. Penguin legs. Perfect. And then a tail. Um, a cheetah. A cheetah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Thanks. So we I have a character. Know. I defy anyone to tell me you've already seen this character. Oh, yeah. Never. Never, right? So oh, this is original. And this is a secret. The secret of cartoons, the secret of writing, is be original. Make it original. So we have made a character that I don't think ever has existed before today, right? So now we're going to name him. Yes, why? Armando. Armando. <laughs> and who's going to help me letter? Because my lettering is just so big. So just write Armando at the bottom. So we have Armando. Now Armando is a fox, deer. Yeah. Is that how you spell Armando? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's an A. Here. An A after the M. It's okay. I can't spell either. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay. Okay, we have Armando. We'll, we'll call him a fox with problems. Okay, we have to think of another animal for the girlfriend. Yes. Yes. Uh, a lion. A lion. Hey, keep the animals really simple. I can't draw. They're maybe simple. Okay, so this is the girlfriend, so she's the lion. 
as a Okay, so we have a lion head, and yes, in the back. Um, uh, deer, deer, deer body. A deer, a deer body. Okay, and how, how about some legs? I was just thinking about them. Yes, did I call on you already? I didn't call on you. Um, like a cat's tail. A cat's tail? Your legs. How about legs? Yes. Um, a tiger legs. Tiger legs. We'll have two front legs that can be a tiger, and the back legs can be duck. duck? Yeah, a duck would be great. Okay, so we have back legs that are duck. So they don't really reach, so we'll have a little stool. Okay. So we have, this is a girl, so we have to put out your Okay, my assistant, what is your name? Billion? Yeah. You have to have a hard name for you. <laughs> okay, Billion, we're going to name this girl. The guy's name is Armando. The girl's name is? I mean, you guys are a little bit to answer you. This table's nothing. Come on, wake up. Okay, yes. Giraffe and man. What? Giraffe and man. Giraffe and man? Giraffe and man. Giraffe and man? What? Giraffe and man. It's a giraffe. 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 How about a civil way like Mary or <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, Jay. Uh, Jay. Jay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's simpler. Okay. I love that suggestion, but I can't say <laughs> Jay. <laughs> yeah, okay. You keep writing your own comics <laughs> And that's a great thing about creativity. All of you can draw your own comic strips. I hope this, after this, look at this handwriting. It's unbelievable. Jay, we have Jay. And Jane, what is her job? The first guy, Armando, is a swim instructor. And we have what? Yes, it's young lady. She's a nurse, that's good. Jade's a nurse. And her secret identity is the other name that he said. I don't even know what he said. Draft the map. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. I love secret identity, that's funny. Okay, Jade the nurse. And now we're going to write a story. And this is a secret to making millions. If you write really good stories, you can write, you can write comic strips, you can make books, like all the books on these shelves. You can make books, make comic strips, you can make songs.
You know, like country western songs? Any kind of songs. Country western comes to mind because I grew up in the ghetto. Anyway, you can write songs, you can write stories, you can write TV shows, you can write movies. Okay? If you have an idea, you can write it. And the best thing to do is write something new. Don't write something that's already been seen. I turn on the TV and I've seen whatever is showing on TV, I've already seen it a hundred times. They always do the same stuff, right? So I hope some of you guys will become writers and they'll, they'll do something different, make a story different. We'll see if uh, we can test you right now. So Jane the Nurse, this is great handwriting, not unbelievable. Jane the Nurse and Armando the swim teacher, all right? So now we're gonna see just how creative you are. And I know that this is gonna be a very good uh, workshop because this guy is in the audience. And I know I can pick on you anytime I want a weird answer. <laughs> and I can't spell it. Okay, we're gonna have the swimming pool instructor, Armando. Okay, so he's gonna be in the pool. So this is Armando in the pool. Armando has little handlers. He's a fox head, right? And the nurse is going to be outside the pool, and she has a lion's Mark Simpson's hair. And what was her body? A deer. Okay, can everyone see? Yeah. All right, so we have the first panel of the story. So what does Armando say to, what's her name? Uh, hey. Jane. Or whatever he said. Trap the mask. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. So, what does Armando say? Yes. How is she going to get that in the middle? Okay. <laughs> you want to, how about, you want to go swimming? Want to go swimming? Want to go, want to, what is it? Want to go swimming? That's a lot simpler. I don't even know where we can fit that. Wanna go swimming with me? Maybe we should make a... Uh... Everyone's thinking of the, the, the second uh, page, bubble, right? Think of something really funny. Okay? Think of, think of the most, the funniest thing Jay can say to Armando, and here's how we know if it's funny. People will laugh. If they don't laugh, it's not funny. And so you're going to think of another idea. This is how you're going to learn to be comedy writers. The hardest thing to do is write comedy. That's why you don't see very many good comedies on TV. It's very hard be funny. And I'll show you how hard it is. Right now, want to go swimming? And she says, oh, I'll spoil the market. Thank you. All right. So she's going to say, want to go swimming? And then she says, now, it has to be funny. 
If I don't use your answer, we're going to think of another one. Oh, yes, yes, right here. Uh, who, me? Yes. <laughs> you had your hand up. Yes. Who, me? Right. Oh, she's saying who me. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, so All right, we'll do it. That's very good. That's excellent. <laughs> who me? <laughs> you guys are off the hook. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Who me? And then, okay, so Armando says, Armando's dead here in the pool. Has an ele elephant body, right? Yeah. And the fox, this, this guy is looking worse every time they draw. <laughs> You know, if the, the artwork gets really bad, then it sells for a lot of money. <laughs> you think about it. In the museums, you go to the museums, you see some art that really is bad, a lot of money. Okay. Want to go swimming? Who, me? And then Armando says something really hilarious. And I know you guys have just got the idea right at the tip of your tongue. Or this guy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, then. Do you want me to pick someone else? What? Do you want me to pick someone else? Who, me? Oh, do you want me to? He says, do you want me to pick someone else? Hmm? Sure. I'm not right here. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is good because it's a question. And it's good. The third panel should always be a question in a comic strip. In a comic strip, four panels, okay? Every day in the newspaper, uh, by the way, a newspaper is a big piece of uh, thing and it's printed. You, you look it up on Google. <laughs> you guys know what a newspaper is? Yes. Yeah. All right. I do. It's, it's, it's only in black and white. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's only black and white. <laughs> Do you want me? This is so good. Do you want me to fix someone else? And this is the punchline. Okay. I'm afraid of water. No, I'm. Do you want me to pick someone else? No, I'm afraid of water. Okay, that makes sense. A lot more sense than the other answers. But here's the thing. It's not funny. We have to make it funny. So let's think of something funny. And it, it may be hard, but we have to think about, you know. She says what? Okay, we're going to make this. No, but this is good. We'll make it a, a, a very uh, philosophical cartoon. There's no response. She's just thinking. I'm thinking. She in the bubbles, you know, bubbles. She's thinking. No response. I'm thinking of something funny to say. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, now now they're going to give me great punchline. Let's do another one. Because I love this letter. Okay, let's do another one. Let's let's say that this adventure continues. Because we didn't have a really good joke, but we're gonna make a good joke. If it's the last thing we do. Okay, so we have the first panel, okay? No response. I'm thinking of something funny to say. The handwriting is so good on this. Unbelievable. All right. So, no response.
comes up thinking of something funny to sell, and he says, I'm going to give him a lot more room. Okay, so the, so the fox, what's that, Armando, Armando is going to say something to set up another round of dialogue, and this time we're going to come up with a great joke. It's the last thing we do. Maybe the last thing we do. Okay, so Armando, he is still trying to get her in the water. He's trying to get her to go swimming. So he's thinking of something to entice her to go swimming, to come in the water. I see the wheels turning right here. Okay, yes, yes. Yes. Don't worry, there's no sharks. Oh, that's good. Don't worry, there's no sharks. Don't worry, there's no sharks. Um, we're going to say, don't worry, there's no sharks up here, and then, and then something else. He says, the water is made of Kool-Aid. He's made of Kool-Aid, yeah. Okay, don't worry, there's no sharks, and the water is made of Kool-Aid. That's good. So he's trying to get her to come in the pool. See, he's trying to sweeten and deal. See, you get the pun? Sweeten and deal? I'll talk to you guys right here. This is my group here. I want you to think. If you want to be funny, you have to think. Think. You have to read. You have to think. You have to charge up those whatever the whatever. Crouton. What? What is it? Neutron. Neutron. <laughs> hey, I wasn't going to size. I was going to drive. That's it. <laughs> I'll give you a science lecture. You have to charge your neutron. <laughs> this is the guy talking. And so the girl's getting really interested. And so she's going to come in. She's getting really interested, and so she says, she says to him, what does she say? Yes? You sweeten the deal. You sweeten the deal. All right. <laughs> now we're on to something. See, by making the pool filled with Kool-Aid, it just lends itself to humor, right? But we have two more panels, which is even better. Sweet and deal. Okay, so I think in the next panel, the next panel, I'm gonna have. So she jumps in the pool. So the next panel, Armando then says what? PJ, what does he say? Yes. Drink the Kool-Aid. Drink the Kool-Aid? <laughs> okay, drink the Kool-Aid. And then she says, she says, okay, do you really think she, she's a nurse? Think this through. She's a nurse. She likes to be a nurse. A nurse. No, she's a nurse. He says, drink the Kool-Aid. 
She's a nurse. No, she says. <laughs> she says, look, is it a good idea to drink the, you know, water that you're swimming in? No. No, right? Right? <laughs> it's not a good idea to drink the whole water? No. Yeah, what would they should say? No, you can't. Okay. No, you can't. Okay. No, you can't. Because it has a lot of sugar. Okay. Come on. In the back. No, because it, because it has too much sugar. No, you can't. It's because it's too much sugar. That sounds like something my wife says to me. <laughs> so that's what I just said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're not used to that answer. <laughs> that's that's a conversation that I have many times at home. Please don't wow. have <laughs> I like sweet stuff and supposedly I'm not supposed to have sweet stuff. Oh. But it's sugar free. Oh, yes. It's sugar free. How's it's that? Sugar yes. 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 It's sugar free. No, you can't, but it's sugar. He says, but it's sugar free. Which gets me out of uh, another jam with my wife. Come on, that works. You can use that. We are. We're using it. Okay, good. That's a funny question. You're an energy now. Listen, this is how you create a character, two characters, and you create a dialogue, and you create a setting, the pool, okay? So when you're creating uh, something else for yourself, for a story, you want to make it original. Don't take a story and make it about something you've already seen. Make the characters unique. Okay? You understand? Yes. Be unique. Always be unique. Make the setting where you live. If you live in San Bernardino, have your characters live in San Bernardino. In other words, write about what you know, but make it funny. Or it doesn't have to be funny. If you want to make, uh, if you if you guys want to put your heads together and think of a drama about four kids who play video games and run out of ideas, there's a story. You have to think about something unique. You think about four kids in San Bernardino playing video games, but without one day. Something happens. Somebody comes up, or a spaceship lands on the house. Use your imagination. You see? Use your imagination. I hope you'll make the characters reflect your neighborhood, your friends, okay? We're starting to see more TV, more movies reflecting I saw In the Heights the other day on HBO Max, because my son gave me it. And In the Heights takes place in New York with Puerto Ricans and Dominican Republic kids. No? So it was really good to see so many Latino faces on the screen. I would like to see more. Not only Latino faces, but half Chinese kids like I am. Okay? You have to think, what do I not see on TV? What is not represented on TV or in the movies or in the books? So then you write the story to reflect. Don't make a story with the same characters that you've already seen. Someone has a pet. 
Usually someone has a pet dog, right? Or they have a pet cat. How about a story with a pet lizard? Or a pet snake? Or a pet turtle. Yeah, a turtle. I have a pet turtle. Yeah, see? And then maybe the turtle is magic. See? So you can make the story interesting by making, use your own imagination and make the story interesting. So it starts off, it's just a turtle and the girl sitting there and it's a turtle. It doesn't sound very interesting. But what if the turtle was magic? Now it sounds interesting. Now it sounds interesting. So what could the turtle do? Yes. Cooks pizza. He what? Cooks pizza. Cooks pizza. The turtle cooks pizza. It sounds like my friend Kevin Eastman with the Ninja Turtles. Yes. The magic will disappear him in any place. Nay. So the turtle uses magic, and the turtle makes the person go any place. That's good. So. Then the person can go to another planet, another country. See? It will say bumpity bumpity boo, but in, in the voice of the turtle. In the voice of the turtle. Yeah, in the turtle talk. Because otherwise, we won't understand what's going on in the story. Yes. When you were talking when you were creating your guys here, how do you come up with your character, what they're going to look like? You, you know, how do you say, like, the head was going to be something? So is that kind of what you do? You take a piece at a time? Okay, what I do to create my characters, and this is how I've done this all around the world. I've done this assembly all around the world. I've never, ever created two characters that look like the last place. I have created thousands of characters using this concept. The kid will say, a fox, deer antlers, elephant body, duck legs. Believe me, the last place I did this assembly, let's say it was Cleveland. I, I, I tell you, the the character we created in Cleveland was totally different than this one. And the lettering was not as good. <laughs> you know what? I've done this all around the world. And this is why I do this. Because creating the character is not hard. It's not important, really. If the character is a, a fox, elephant body, and then his girlfriend is a lion, a deer body. It doesn't matter. The important thing to remember is it's unique. You know these characters are unique. You know these characters. You haven't seen these on Nickelodeon. Otherwise, it will be a lawsuit. <laughs> you understand? So you can create something original. And all of you in this room can create something original. And how good you are as an artist is only one word. Stop playing video games and start drawing. Yeah. Stop watching TV. Start drawing. Start reading. Why? Because if you draw and you really spend your time drawing and you spend your time reading, you're going to get so many ideas and so many uh, creative thoughts are going to come into your mind. Mark, do you have a question? Wow, that's really good. That's good. Yeah, it's an elephant. He took the, the needed eraser and made a sculpture. This is great. Better than the needed <laughs> You guys, you're not supposed to ask me, you're not supposed to tell me jokes. You have to ask some questions because this is on uh, video. Well, I, I have a suggestion, if I may make a suggestion. Yes. How 
How about if everybody tries to create something right now, just really quick. Wait, sketch us something really fast. Miss Daniela is going around and taking pictures of creations. So how about if you just sketch something for us really fast? It doesn't have to be a character, it could be a house. Yeah, make up your own character. Kara, make up your own thing. Sketch something out for us real quick, and Miss Daniela will come by and take a photo of it. If that's okay with you. That's a good idea. Because then maybe if you remember that and see, whatever you want to come up with. Go ahead and sketch something out for us. You guys have an idea? I like Jade a lot. The monster house. The monster house. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We have the monster house. So right here, right here, draw the monsters. Come on. Draw the monsters. Marina man, that's good. Don't worry about how it looks. Just get the idea down. Here's the secret. If your drawing never improves, get a friend. Okay, who I think really I can hear you now. I made this. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, let me pin you, okay? okay? When I was 21, I helped the guys who created Superman. Hey, Phil? Yes. Can you come here for a minute? Look, we have someone online and he created his own little cartoon. Oh, that's great. That looks really good. So this is really good. Yes. So, the important thing is to think about creating a character and owning the rights. You must own the rights, okay? When you create something, own the rights. Own what you created. Otherwise, you know, someone else might get the money. You have to copyright Yeah, you have to copyright it. Good idea. So, and you are 10 years old. This is great. So, that's a very important point. When you make something, always copyright it. And it's copyrighted in any way. When you make something, you run it off copy, and it, it's copyrighted automatically. Okay? So even if you date it and sign it, it's copyrighted. Even though it doesn't, you know, it's not published yet. So, so, couple, so a couple things I wanted to tell everybody too while you're here. So on your way out of this room, I want you to look at those beautiful murals on the way out. Did you know who was? Who do you think did all that? Him. Yeah. Yeah. The person that has created the wind tiger. Yes, he created the tiger. Yes, yes he did. very good. <laughs> now we've got you brainwashed. So I want you to, when you go home, make sure that you take a look at this comic, okay? This is Mr. Phil's comic also, right? And on the back is my mural in San Bernardino. On the back, 14th in E, if you guys are in the area, okay? This is 6th in E, 14th in E, I have a mural that we painted with my friends. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to have more stuff to take with you on the way home. Thank you to Mr. Bill.